Here with head coach Sandy Botham Heller tonight, 62-48. Loss to the Titans coach. Uh, you know, big lead early in the game, led at halftime, and then Shreer Brown, who was in foul trouble in the first half, uh, arguably going to be the you know newcomer of the year, goes off for 21 points in the second half, and uh, Detroit ends up winning the game. So. Yeah, it was, you know... We knew that uh, much like Demings at Wright State, that she was going to come out, get really hungry, and really just take it at us. And you know, we didn't have an answer defensively. You know, you play in front, they're going to lob. I mean, they did a nice job of executing and taking what they gave, what they give us, what we gave them. And um, but we still had opportunities. You know, even her scoring 23, I just felt like at times. We didn't take care of the basketball. We had some key turnovers. Um, you know, our shooting percentage was down. I thought we were hesitant um, and, uh, you know, kind of forced some shots. And uh, that, you know, if we can take care of our offensive end and do a better job there, you know, Sharita's Brown, 23 points don't seem so big. So, um, you know, still, I think some growing pains. And then just again, how we react. I felt like we got deflated rather than continuing to fight and make plays with our effort. Um, so, you know, is what it is. You know, we just have to keep getting better as a team. Uh, like I said before, she picked up two fouls in the first half and, and really opened up the game for us, built a 12-point lead in the first half and, and just very solid defensively held Detroit to 33%. Um, built the lead all the way up to 12, but then Detroit got those last eight points of the half. You know, how big was that? And big, sort of really the game. big. You know, and in foul trouble. Kiki's two fouls and Sammy's two fouls and then Ashley's. You know, we uh, that really hurt us, and they went on some run. I thought we took some bad shots, you know, we were um, rather than being aggressive and using the clock a little bit. Um, and that's something that, you know, our kids need to do a better job and learn from, kind of the tempo of the game. And um, But... You know, and then they got just more aggressive and, and took advantage of transition baskets. But, yeah, that was big. I mean, the end of the, that half. But, you know, we were able to regain ourselves, get our, you know, starters back. And Sammy's two quick fouls to start the second half I thought was, was tough, you know, especially with not having Courtney Linfors in there. You know, our rotations were different. So hopefully, you know, with Courtney back, we can kind of get back to our solid rotations. Just last question then. I mean, overall, pretty solid night defensively. Forced 20 turnovers, come up with 10 steals. You got, I mean, uh, you know, give up only 62 point, you know, 62 points when it was 24 in the first half. Right. Have to feel good about that effort. Yes, we do. And it's just, I've said it. I feel like a broken record. The consistency. You know, we got to have consistency on both ends. And you know, tonight it was our offense. You know, we just weren't able to get anything going. Nothing generating. Our offense generated. You know, and I think it was turnovers. We missed some shots that we typically hit. Um, so, you know, it's been kind of the story of our, our team, but, you know, that's something that we just need to, you know, just stay persistent, keep working hard, you know, because there's still six games left. You know, if you can get things going, anything can happen. Thanks for your time, Coach. All right, Chris.